Good morning. So um, as I left off last time, um, we were building out the add snippet page in Snippet Pixie. Um, and I'd left myself a to-do um, to um, fix up the uh, validation of a new abbreviation for snippet. Um, and I just ended up kind of doing it off off video <laughs> yesterday evening. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly recap what I actually did. Um, and then I'll move on to, I think, assuming it all works, because I need to give it a quick test. Um, filling out the list snippets page on the new GUI app. So um, it took a little bit more than I expected um, last night um, because of um, promises. Um, what we were trying to do was um, call uh, the back end to see whether an abbreviation exists already. Um, so I had to um, set up a uh, get snippet with abbreviation as um, a new back end service because I hadn't done it yet, which is interesting. I didn't realize I hadn't done that yet. Um, and I also had to therefore add that as a service entry um, in the client side. Um, so the client can call Dbus, ask for the get snippet with abbreviation service, pass in an abbreviation. Um, it gets back a Dbus snippet. Um, and then um, we convert that Dbus snippet to a real snippet and return it. Then goes okay. Sorry about the peacock. Um, it's that time of year. Um, we also therefore have a little entry in the uh, debus service package, which uh, says, "Wait, right, this is a this is for the interface, basically. Um, if you want to talk to the debus daemon, you need to implement this." Um, so it's the same thing there. Um, and then that meant, obviously, of course, in the Wales backend, um, we hang off the app a get snippet with abbreviation, um, which basically just calls that service. Um, so it doesn't do a great deal there other than call the service we've created. And that means that uh, we end up, once we've done a Wales um, build or dev, with a bit of JavaScript, um, which just basically calls that backend uh, function on the go um, and we get back a snippet hopefully. Now that returns a promise um, which means that previously I had this being called get abbreviation error message um, and it was just a normal function but I had to change that um, to do an async um, or I would have to use you know, old school um, uh, you know, call cool then and um, catch like about a promise chain. Um, and I, I really don't like them. Um, so I wanted to use try a catch um, and I didn't want to have to deal with um, a promise out from the back end of this update abbreviation message, which is what I called it eventually, because I decided that the best way to do this was deal with it um, get the result we want, um, and instead of returning a potential snippet, um, or sorry, not snippet, potential um, message, um, I just dealt with it there and then and just set it onto a new a new module variable called abbreviation error message, um, which is passed into the label, um, or error message, part of the input. Um, and if the abbreviation has a length greater than zero, it's going to be one of the reasons that the button might be disabled. Um, so just to show how that all ha ha uh, works together, let's get, so I'll just get Wells dev. And this gives me a little bit of time to quickly test it, make sure it's okay. 
So I've cleaned out all my snippets and I've created one just called a Wibble. So um, at the moment it says, OK, please enter an abbreviation. And that's coming from that new slightly tweaked function. But as soon as I start um, typing, it's fine. This, this is all allowed so far. And then as soon as I get to Wibble backtick, that abbreviation already exists. And it's done that via the go back end. Um, so I can't use that. Um, but I could also use Ripple Wobble. Um, and then we could do Ripple Wobble all night long. I'll stick in there. Is there anything called night? There you go do that. Right, so if that should save, and then it takes us back to the front end. Um, if I then try and add another one, so if I do Wibble, that's okay, it doesn't like that. Do Wibble Wobble, yeah, it still knows it's there, so that's cool. So cancel that, close that off, and then back on the CLI, if I list We've now got the two, so we've got Wibble and we've got Wibble Wobble, which is fine. Um, and if you hopefully you noticed that, uh, let's just double check that actually, make sure I didn't double check it myself. When you're um, doing this, so it's disabled here, can't do it. Um, if I go through, it doesn't get highlighted, it's not allowed. Um, and since I do that, it's OK. I can highlight the save button. Since I do that, I can't highlight the save button and so on again. So that's fine. It's all working. I think I can commit that. Uh, I should probably just do a quick make. And make test. Yeah, there's no test there. I want to just go back to the bottom there and do a make test as well, just to make sure I haven't broken anything. Yeah, we're good. OK, and I've been using the daemon and the CLI without issues as well. So, right, let's commit that. Mm. I think we're good. Validate a new abbreviation before allowing to add it. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to try out, seeing if I can get this to get closed automatically. So I think I'm done with the add snippet screen. So I'm going to copy that link. Uh, let's double check about 14. And then I'm going to paste that in there. In theory, when I commit and push this, it will close off um, that. Okay, what I want to do actually, thinking about it, is I want to say um, add snippet screen. Yeah, 
That'll do. Validate a new abbreviation before allowing it to be added. See how that goes. Refresh this. Hmm. Nope. Did not work. Someone actually did post that they were having problems with it or doing its thing, so I wonder if there is a bug at the moment. Or maybe. Maybe I'm not set up properly on that. So if you're there, maybe it takes time. We'll see. Uh, right, I should better just go straight to it. I'll give it, I won't close it off. I'll see if it sorts itself out eventually. Um, be nice to see if that worked and um, I might have to talk on the list about that as, as well um, so uh, anyway that is add snippet done so I am happy with that um, I'm going to leave that as is for the moment um, and I'm now going to move on to um, doing the list page so at the moment uh, when the app starts, um, we're pulling in roots and so on. Um, and at the moment, we have a welcome screen as the base root. Uh, but we're going to have to change that um, because we need to have um, more of a, um, a list of uh, snippets or welcome screen. What I could probably do, there's two ways I can go about that. I could just like adjust this um, and so that it, um, it has like a, an if statement in it to say if we've got any snippets then um, show one set of contents um, or if we, yeah, but really I want to keep this component separate. So I'm going to have, I think, a new component, uh, which I'm probably going to be like the main or something like that. And it will decide which component to show, whether to show the welcome screen or the list. I think, yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do here then, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So let's create a new component. And 
he will what would we do wow I think well, we haven't actually even we haven't got um Gonna have to go get snippets and things and see whether we've got any. Yeah, and let's quickly create our um, list as well. And I need to rename the other one as well. That's not what I wanted. Shift. Yeah, create a main screen instead. Okay, so we've got a main screen, a list snippet screen. Um, and so here, let's just say, um, and then in here, we're going to have basically, um, we're definitely going to have to need a script and we're going to do something like yes i'm going to need to do something like const Hmm, do I need to... I might need to do a snippet count. I think, oh, I could just start using the store. Hmm. If I use a store... And just update it every now and then. That could be quite handy. I avoided that on the add snippet. What I was potentially going to do was have the store loaded and then validate whether the abbreviation already exists by looking at the store. But that meant, you know, continuously looking. And I didn't really want to do that. I only really want to get this update the store if I'm going to be using it and use it once where the validation had to happen as you were typing. So I just did a quick check there and then. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. I think... I think it might be time... I don't know if I'm optimizing this too early. Okay, well, let's do this first. Let's do... Um, let's do this just to get the two things working. So what we're going to have is um, if... snippet count is greater than zero uh, then we want to show the list snippet screen um, else Want to show the welcome screen. Do that just to get things going. And then in the roots, we're going to swap this out. the main I think that's okay no connection is going to I don't think we're even using that at the moment are we Get rid of that at some point. Um, okay, and then that's a good point. In the list snippets, we really want here is screen. Make sure it's all as formatted. I did use that here, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, that's centered there. That's fine. Okay, so we now have in our main, as the app comes up, Let's move that up to there, so it's in order of usage. I think I might delete that in a minute, but we'll come back to that. So we have a main screen as our entry point. The main screen goes, do we have anything? No. Use welcome screen, otherwise list snippets. And list snippets just has nothing at the moment. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure that works. Okay. 
Uh, let's move that over here. Stick it up there. Come on. Okay. Now that should still work as usual. Now, if I go here, and I make snippet count one by default, list here. Okay. All right. So um, let's do something sensible then. Snippet count is not really the way to go. What we probably want to do is just do a quick check as the length of um, store um, and the main screen should probably just go get it although yeah actually if the main screen does it then any time we come back and it's uh, reloaded it could just go get it again and make sure that the, all these snippets are loaded into the store rather than doing it on a timer or anything like that because I think that's all we need at the moment it doesn't need to be dynamic I think Okay, so let's have a store, um, and I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have a custom one. Um, because then I can just say, um, go fetch and it just does it internally and I don't have to muck about with different functions all over the place yeah so uh, I'm gonna have a function uh, create snippets um, and I, now I need to try and remember how to do this I'll probably have to look at the docs. I do know I'm going to need like an export const snippets, but I can't remember what the format is on that. I think I think I just do that, um, and then. I just need to fill in the blanks here and have it return a subscription and stuff. But I'm just going to check the docs for that. Uh, so it's felt. And we'll do docs. Maybe it's in the tutorial then. It's easiest to find it. Oh, it might be examples. Can't 
custom store. That'll do. Right, yeah, so in the function I need to do that. And then I can return all this stuff here. So yeah, that's what I want. And it is just, as I thought, just create, call the function. Okay. I haven't been one of these in ages. Um, right, so now, writable, but it's going to be, I think, an empty array. Um, and... Yeah, I think I will have reset. Um, and then for my functions, I'm going to have At the moment, all we need is a empty fetch. Um, and we'll do uh, this is where it gets interesting. This is where I want to use stuff. Right, so now I need to do the go stuff. That's a good point. So I need to go and create the back end for this. So I need to do a search, but don't get anything. Uh, sorry, but don't put a... Um, Don't put any uh, criteria on it. So my service, let's go find it. That's what we want, one of these. So I'll take that. I'll put that there. And we use a run app. So get a list of snippets that optionally include the search string in their abbreviation or body. Now I could just do a get all. Let's do both. So what we're going to do is we're going to do return a serve get snippets search in order by last. So that's the basics there. And then I think I'll do a wrapper for that. So I'll just call this get all snippets, get a list, gets all snippets. Yeah, because by default I want it to be ordered by when you're just listing them. Do you want them alphabetically? Yeah. 
gets all snippets ordered of uh, practically. I don't know how to spell that. We'll see. So get snippets, and what we're going to do here is take both of those out, and we will do that, that, that. Oh, yeah. And save. Why did it save that? I didn't hit save. Okay, I did now. Okay, so we now have a back end on the Wells app that um, for get snippets and get snippets uh, get all snippets so in theory I'll close that off in the main screen was it I was going to do yeah. Oh. Hold on. I need to actually do the store fetch first. So, so we want to do. Um. going to be async. Well, hold on. That should actually prompt me to do this in a minute. So const snippets equals await get all snippets. Thank you very much. And then I should be able to just do this. Um, I don't care if that goes bang, it goes bang. And how I'll break loose anyway. So what we'll do is That's a good point, actually. What are we going to get back according to this? Why am I even looking there? I've got this. It is an array. Yeah. OK. So um, we can just do, in theory, then, I believe, update snippets can't remember the syntax it's it's just a function, isn't it? Just an arrow function. Double check, I've got the docs open. We will do
soil. It is, right, okay. That's fine. Oh, that's my UPS. I'm doing a test. I've got a lamp which is on a. It's not an UPS, but it's uh, protected. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that's all I've got to do. That's fine. Just can't remember these things. Um, so what we're going to do is, actually I could use a set there, oh no that doesn't trigger, What does it? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, what we'll do is we will. I can't remember. I can't remember how to do the. Um... So once you go and look at the code that I've written already. Um, but I'm not going to. All right, custom stores. See, that's doing a plain return. Okay. I'll just do a uh, I'm going to do that. Oh no, it's not an object. I can just do a plain, I can do a simple thing, I think. We'll see in a minute. Um, but yeah, I think I can get away. Peacock's so loud. I think I can get away with that. We'll see. Okay, right. So when we get a bunch of snippets, we're going to basically update the current set of snippets um, with these new ones that we've got here. We will see. Okay. Um, and a reset is just going to basically set everything back to nothing. I think that's okay. We will see. So in the main screen, What we can do Do I want to keep that snippet count? Hmm. 
now. When we enter here, I think what we'll do is snippets fetch. So we'll do import snippets. So this is only going to happen when the, the main screen first loads. Mm. Um, it's going to do a snippets fetch, which basically just refreshes them in theory. Um, and then in here, oops, I can keep that. If the snippets store dot I can't remember if can I do that? No, I don't think I can do that with uh we'll see in a second. Can't do that with you. That's going to go. Interesting. Yeah. That's either just worked. <laughs> or. Let's try it. Let's try the reverse. Interesting. I think it might be working. Okay. I save that. It's going to the list. So let's check check that out. Let's go into the list. We'll just do a quick uh, import uh, snippets again, and then in here, uh, what should we do? Just do a quick for each. Just to see we've, whether we've got anything. Um, so each. Uh, and away. Well. Is that right? I can't remember. So long since I've had to um, do this. I need to get back into the swing of things. Um, right, so we'll just do actually we'll just do a little power graph just to track it out, um, and we will just output. the snippet uh, abbreviation okay there we go so it works smart okay so let's put some decoration on this um well actually we don't want decoration we want to build basically a component for each of these. Um, but I'm running out of time. So we're kind of at a point where we're listing the snippets. Um, let's, let's put some more stuff in here so we can see it. Okay. That's all right. That's in alphabetical order, isn't it? I might switch that up because I'm thinking 
Well, in this format, maybe it's right. I'm in two minds as to how this screen should be. With a, on this particular format, it should be a list to the left, just like I have in the classic snippets. So Pixie, this is like the admin screen. Um, and you can, you know, you can do all this stuff. Um, and then edit there. But I feel like what I want to do is something a bit more like the wrong thing. Um, this. So this is the search and paste, but if I give it a little bit more um, smarts, so that by default it basically does this, but then maybe we have um, like an add button and things like that. and a way to maybe get to the settings. So like here we could have an add snippet here, just before the search box. At the moment on here, if I do a tab, I'm into the list now. And I can go up and down with the arrow keys, which is quite nice. If I tab again, it comes back to the search. But if I instead had an add button and a settings button somewhere accessible, could really reduce the UI down. So that this could basically double duty. Hmm. To think about that. Anyway, I'm kind of running out of time. So I'll leave it there at the moment um, where we've got a list. Um, and we just need to decide on what we're going to do here. Um, and uh, start fleshing it out next time. Yeah. Okay, um, so let's, uh, let's kill this off. Close that down. And say um, thank you very much um, for watching. Um, and until next time, you take care. Bye.